Yesterday, the breakaway faction of the Forum for Democratic Change, now commonly referred to as FDC Katonga Road, revealed what it was considering forming a new political party. This proposal to chart their own course raises the question of what will happen to what was until re recently Uganda's biggest opposition political party. With just under two years to the 2026 elections, the state of affairs at FDC draws attention to rising factionalism in Uganda's opposition parties. Tonight we discuss the fate of FDC and its broader implications for Uganda's political landscape leading to 2026 elections. Honorable Salam Musumbra, Vice Chair of the Forum for Democratic Change. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. A warm welcome to you. Thank you very much. And uh, good to see you, all viewers out there. Honorable Fungaro Hassan Kaps, uh, Deputy Vice President Northern Deputy Region. President. Deputy President uh, yes. of FDC Northern Uganda. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. Warm, warm, warm welcome to you. Thank you very much, my brother. And thank you, my sister. The viewers, I salute all of you. So let me be begin with the first things. What we have witnessed in the last couple of months in the Forum for Democratic Change, I can say your party, Fungaro, has suffered a catastrophic implosion. What we see now is not the FDC we knew. How did we come here? How did we reach this level? Yeah, thank you very much, my brother. And uh, once again, I salute my senior, my sister, with the highest level of respect. I also salute all of you dear viewers who have tuned here into this program and uh, not forgetting my beloved people of Obongi and West Nigeria generally. I would like to say this, that FDC being uh, an opposition political party, you can compare it to understand what we're going to talk about here. In the context, you can compare it to liberation struggles because we talk about liberating Ugandans from Operation ETC, ETC. There's a common problem, a common disease, which is liberation struggles, liberation movements face, they get into this. Once the liberation takes long, once the liberation doesn't happen, doesn't yield the results as soon as expected. And that is a problem of entering a stage of internal contradictions where members contradict each other, there arise problems of misunderstanding, there arise problems of maybe even internal struggles for power and control. It happened in many places in Southern Africa, in the liberation movements in Southern Africa, in Mozambique, in Angola, and nearest to us, let me bring the most relevant example, South Sudan. The SPLSPLM, you see, which has established a government in South Sudan, entered that kind of contradiction recently. SPLA, SPLM got split into two. Theirs was more violent because they were armed, they had guns, people died, but they did not lose focus. The South Sudanese people created a, a talking framework. People who were viewing each other as enemies have come back together and that's why there's peace. Rekmocha, General Rekmocha came back and General Salfakir came back and they shook hands and they are working together there. Today in the FDC, we have, we have to acknowledge these facts. We have entered the situation of internal contradictions, and uh, uh, that's why you see us in this way. But this did not start just yesterday. It started a little bit earlier, only that this current one is the one which has opened up the eyes for people like this. Remember, we lost some formidable members of our party, uh, led by General Mugisa Muntu, and it took away people like Honorable uh, uh, Wadi Kasiano, Winnie, Honorable Winnie Kiza, Honorable Lasso, Gino Mutu himself. It was a loss to us. It happened. And uh, today we are experiencing okay, something similar. To so to me, respect, Honorable Hassan Fungaro, you, you are using words internal contradictions, but what we have seen, what we have heard is party elders, senior party leaders, accusing the party president, the secretary general, of having been compromised. 
by the state of trying to deliver FDC as we know it to NRM. This is not an introduction. This is not a contradiction. It's a contradiction. Internal. Internal means it is coming from within us. It is not from outside. Regardless of, of your beliefs or disbeliefs in the arguments advanced for what has happened, that's where it falls in the, in the, in the circles of knowledge. It is an internal contradiction. So I would like not to go to the depth of what the, 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 the gist of the matter of the contradictions are, uh, and, uh, and, and therefore we just accept things as they are. But I would like to say this, in spite of all these tendencies or appearances of people getting divided, getting confronting each other, we have reached a state of some kind of stability. We cherish our history. We respect each other. That's why you saw me here calling my sister, my sister, my elder. Okay. So General, let me, let me come to her. Mugisa Muntu is respected. Yes. Uh, Dr. Besije is respected. Musumbra. We respect okay. each all, other. All your fire. Let me end with this. All, this all your fire. Honorable Salam Musumbra, Vice Chair FDC. You have listened to Honorable Hassan Kaps. What is your clear diagnosis of the FDC problem now? Before you even talk about the, 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 the healing knife you want to apply. <laughs> it's sad. And you know, I feel very sad. I feel betrayed. I'm angry. Very angry. Uh, looking at my brother, Fongaro. Hmm. You know where we've come from. That's right. I feel so sad. I feel well, sick. Listen, every avenue for us to have a conversation to to resolve the the internal issues was disabled and deliberately deliberately disabled. And that's why I kept asking that what was the mission? Was it achieved by what was done in Najana and Kumbi? Was that the mission uh, to disable the party, to capture the party, to, to vulgarize the mission, to attack colleagues? What, what know, was the purpose? You know, you can make all these statements, but your colleagues on the other side of the aisle, if I can use that word, yes. have actually said these are allegations they have denied not, listen, I am telling you that this little blue book, it's so the small, the constitution of the party, is the author of all the problems. Because leave the money out. That, that is, an, is the easier part. But it's the heart of who we are, of who we promised to be, that we would be a robust, world-class party, tamper-proof, bulletproof, and that we secure this party from in external, external attack, from external um, uh, plots, and it took our own, our own, internally, to damage the brand, to break us. Internal. Before you look up, talk about an external force, it is what's internal. One, in this constitution, the power, the power structure was broken between the office of the chair and the office of the president. And for me, that's the crux of the matter. It's not even money. Because if you cannot secure a little book like this, can you look me straight in the eye and say that you can safeguard the constitution of the Republic of Uganda? You know, you've used the word, Honorable Salam Musumba. It took one of your own, Our own to break the party. We're not talking about a member or somebody low key cadre. You're talking about the party president and the secretary general. These are people and who it's have the only, listen, These are the it's people, only Honorable them. Salam Musumba, who have the offices. mandate of listen. the FDC. Come on. They were to Let offices. me tell you, Kamara, this intellectual poverty that you guys in the media exhibit. Read this little book. 
It will tell you that we divided the power within the party to make sure that we do not concentrate uh, all the authority in one party, in one, in one organ. And therefore the office of the chairman, by hierarchy, is the top, followed by the presidency and the secretariat. It's very clear, very simple English. Yeah, but, but, yeah, but, but that's, that's not the issue now we are talking about. What is about. the issue? The issue is for you to get out your, co your confidence from your party president and to listen, try to eject them from office. No, listen, we called ourselves to order. And we should. You should be glad that we are able to call ourselves to order. We look ourselves in the mirror and say, guys, something is amiss. Can we call ourselves to order? And we did it internally. It is when the internal mechanisms failed and were failed deliberately that we found it, ourselves on the street. Internal methods, Honorable Salam, Salam Musumba, also included mm -hmm. you bringing together a group of elders, senior party leaders in your party, to look into these, these allegations of, of bravery and of compromise. And guess what? They were exonerated. <laughs> You're English. They were? No. Please, an elder worth their name does not do. Dr. Frank Navoiso? Worth his name. Dr. Frank Navoiso? You Navuiso. might be thinking of a different person, but the one that more wrote that report <laughs> was so wanting. I want us to dissect that report, even today. But look, they never, they didn't smuggle themselves in these positions. They were put together by the party structures. Why do you put somebody so wanting? Because he has delivered a report you don't agree with, and now you say you are so wanting? That is not the case. The processes that were supposed to establish and set up that report, that process too was hijacked by the party president. Nobody else but the party president. Deliberately hijacking that process and owning it. How can you be the one being investigated and you're the one setting up that? So you're telling Ugandans and those viewing tonight yes. that your party president went rogue and went renegade against his own party? He did worse. Terrible. He undermined yes. the very party that made him who he is today. Yeah, thank you, my brother. Where do you stand on this? Let me tell you this, every system that is worth being called a system must have another system of checks and balance, a system of uh, resolving disputes once they arise. FDC, as a political party, has internal and external systems to do that. These systems were engaged when these contradictions came. The internal systems included what my sister talked about here. The, a, a team was created of elders. They did what they did. A national council meeting was organized. The report was given. The outcome is what you know. Disputed or not disputed, but that is how it is. Another step was taken, an external mechanism of resorting to the systems of the state. We are in a state <laughs> called Uganda. Uganda is a country, yes. We are not in a, this a is state. laughable. But that's the reality. Totally laughable. Let me make my submission, then you can counter if you have to. We are in a state called Uganda. An entity, a corporate body, be it a company, an organization, a political party, is governed according to the laws of Uganda. Whether you disagree with them or you agree. If you are in in US, in Britain, you use those laws. If you, there is a problem between you, say shareholders in a company, you go to the cost of law, you go to the banks, you go to where you go. It is not external people. These systems were engaged by the complainers, and the results are what you see. Now, what you know is, there's no doubt about this. You may not be pleased with this. FDC is one. We then address P.O. Box, Nagana Kumbi. That's where the headquarter is. The party instruments of authority and power are in the hands of FDC, Najina Nkumbi. The party seal, the party stamp. So you don't recognize the presidency of the Honorable Lukwago as the party pre president? Uh, the Honorable Lukwago is the, our Lord Mayor on FDC ticket. That one we salute him. And we work together. Recently, we were together for a burial of our own painful comrade who died, the gentleman Adam who sang the song Toka Kwa Barabara, Besi Jamaingia. Wait a minute, that young man passed on? Yes, 
May he so rest in eternal peace. It touched all of us. Yes. When he was sick, all of us even went for, to see him from different angles, in spite of our divisions. People came from Katonga Road, they went and gave assistance. We came from Najana Kumbi, we went and visited him and gave assistance. Unfortunately, God took him away. When the time for the death came, he died. We went for the burial. Some people came here, the National Theater. Others went to Luero, to the home village. I led the team, the delegation from Najana Kumbi, acting on behalf of the headquarters, the party president, the SG, with the letter properly. We went. We were there. Dr. Besige was there as our elder. I spoke on behalf of our party. Okay. You, so, you know, you know. we recognized and we saluted him. Again, we lost one of the of war, our own. We went, all of us went there. So there are certain things which still unite us in spite of all these kind of... It's a pity you have been united in death, but... <laughs> but yeah, we respect <laughs> our soul. own. We respect you, you our own. They, they, fail, they fail to meet in resolving no, the matter. But so the reality is, another, another analysis is, right now as I speak here... For me, I'm I've, from, I've told them, don't, um, don't you bury me. Excuse don't. me, let me want. first make this. I'm from Entebbe, from a parliamentary committee orientation workshop. I was invited as a facilitator in that training. Well, when I went there, I found my own colleagues there. From Ant, they were invited by Parliament like me. The Honorable okay. Winikiza, the Honorable yeah. Wadikasiano. We shook our hands, we worked together, and uh, we still looked back together, in spite of the fact that now they belong to a different entity called Ant. So, 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 honorable so Salam, Salam, today, Salam. regardless of what comes next, we shall still greet ourselves with the honor of Salam. We shall salute Dr. Bessie, just a historical. The portraits of all these leaders of ours are there in our Hall of Fame at Nanjana Kumbi. They are respected, all of them. Okay, just hold So for me, now. let's look in, forward in, in what, to the what future. Honorable Fungaro is talking about, mm. uh, Honorable Salam Musumbra, mm. if this is still, <laughs> still strong in Nanjana Kumbi, you moved. You and your colleagues moved. Okay, they are we still moved. there. We did. So you are we following anti, you are following other people who moved. We will. So you are creating a new party. We will. We will. You have left FDC. We will leave. We will leave. And when we do, Kamara, when we finally make up our minds too, we will. And we will announce. As of now, we are rescuing the soul of a party we formed with our own blood, our own bones, our own brains. A party that is being forcefully grabbed and taken away from the people of Uganda to elsewhere. Fungaro and company are telling you they are holding 14 Najan and Now let me give you listen, this one here. Listen, <laughs> you do not steal an elephant and keep it and still tell Ugandans that we stole, we are keeping it safely for you. Sir, no. Okay, this is some of these examples you no. can give them. Let me give you this. Do you believe Fungaro can be taken and handled over to Museveni? Fungaro? Me, yes. Fungaro? Yes. Maybe you don't know. Me? Maybe you don't know. There are people who are in Najana No, Kumbi. Fungaro, Even please, you believe, please, please, please. I saw you in, two, no. in, in 209 when he, the president, when you invited the president to come to your constituency in Obongi. Yes. Was the president Salva Kiir? Yes. That does not say uh, just an, an, any other word. That's so, why I, st I so, tell you that so there is a so country. Yes, so yes, you are in good books with the president. <laughs> Listen to me, this. There is a country. Because he visited you in his constituency when you invited him. How many have you visited him and he came? You see, we had a day called Obongi Day where we talk about development. We could invite different people, the leader of the opposition, party president of FDC, all. You invited the chairman of NRM. Even including, mm -hmm. yes, they came there because we invited him as head of state and we needed General Salfa Kiir Mayadit, the president of the Republic of South Sudan, to come there. There were problems with border disputes, the problems with refugees. But by protocol, could I invite the president of another country without passing through my own president of my country? I knew this logic. I needed Salfa Kiir to come there, but to get Salfa Kiir to come, you must go through President Seven because he's the head of state of this country in spite of the fact that we disagree. We are in different political parties. He is the president of the country called Uganda. I'm the MP of the constituents called Obongi in the same country. If he needed a member of parliament at that time, he would not get another one other than Fungaro. He had to work with Fungaro and had to work with him. That was how the system is created. So I still remember fondly that okay. he, uh, we have a state. This one you cannot run away from it. 
unless you say Uganda doesn't exist as a state. It exists. So, so now, so, so now, for me, so now, what do you make? What do you make of the of the, the group of in Katonga? They have lost respect for the leadership in Najan and Kumbi. They are moving on. Okay. They, they think you have fought to destroy the party within. You, you're still maybe saying things are good, but that's not what. Well, let me give Salam, you this. That's not what Honorable Salam Musumba is saying. No. He's saying you you are taking the party down. No, listen uh, to me. This. She's saying it right now. What is that? If you can, can, if you can destroy no. what, what the party what? using the very constitution. What is happening is this. Mm -hmm. mm. Currently, there are talks, there are discussions which are going on. Where? With who? With the people who have disagreed. And I've given you, I will give you more. This is the vice chair. I'm giving you what is happening right now. There are people who are coming back to the party. We are saying, please, he's fire. <laughs> Stop fighting. There are people, and it's the reality, you wait and see. <laughs> the, maybe the day you will prove it is when people get nominated. There are, people, where he's going. there are people who are going to be nominated on the FDC ticket, mm -hmm. and the party seal is with mm -hmm. Najana and Kumbi. Mm -hmm. These people sit with you mm -hmm. in Katonga Road. Mm -hmm. There are discussions going on with them. Mm -hmm. There were people who were you with say, aunts. These are people listen, working let me, let me make for a stamp. No, listen. They are working there was, for a stamp. There they are working for a job. They are looking for a job. Before we take a break. It is about themselves. Listen to It's not about this kind of reality. There was a delegates conference that elected new leadership from where from here in Kampala okay the delegates conference which took place on the 6th of October elected a new leadership here in uh, Nakawa this is a uh, uh, where I was I'm talking about these office bearers not oh where am I where the honorable Lukwago was okay. elected president of the party oh, no problem this conference the, the reality is, is this, there seem to be evolving two organizations. One is where my sister belongs and Lukwago belongs. They can call themselves the titles they call them, use of calling themselves, but we live in a system called Uganda. A political party is governed under the Political Parties and Organizations Act. We account to the state. You write reports, you give, you, you file reports. Now, you ask from the question you ask the question from the national delegates conference which you are referring to the national delegates conference you are referring to many resolutions that they had removed the signatories of the party from the accounts which are in the banks these are other entities they are not political parties but they work according to the rules of Uganda these are business companies now you go and ask from the banks do research on your own who are the signatories who are still signing to the accounts are they from Katonga Road or from Najan and Kumbi? They are from Najan and Kumbi, which means the real power and authority which the whole world, which respects democracy, the rule of law, states, governance, it uses with Najan and Kumbi. Can you okay, imagine? stop there. Your can you imagine? That is what it can is. You imagine? Can you imagine Fungaro through the fraudulent system you established and appointed yourselves as leaders that you can justify? What you're justifying? You Fungaro? Fungaro shamelessly. <laughs> really Fungaro? Fungaro, you are not the Fungaro that I know. I am the same. You are not. Because you're talking at cross purposes. Fungaro, you, you know for sure that a national delegates conference is called by the secretary, by the, the, the chairman. You know that. You, 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 you uttered falsified documents in court. You see, for me, even the money is not an issue, but that they can utter falsified documents in court. My colleagues, these ones, it's totally unacceptable. Okay, hold on. Okay, now. Okay, totally hold, unacceptable. Hold on, hold on. Uh, on that you Fungaro, tell Fungaro, lies Salam, with a straight hold face. On, hold on to your point because you're going to take a break. No, uh, on no, the no, spot, no. we'll be right no, back. No, Fungaro. Welcome back. You're watching On The Spot. My name is Patrick Kamara. My guests tonight are Honorable Hassan Fungaro Kaps, Deputy President of FDC Northern Uganda, and Honorable Salam Musumba, Vice Chair of FDC. And uh, this FDC is in, the, is in the spotlight. I understand that uh, the Honorable Lukwago, Dr. Besage, and others, are, maybe including yourself, are embarking on a national tour. What is this intended to, do, to achieve? 
the political turbulence that the party faced, the political ambush, and uh, set everybody in shock, including myself. Uh, there's just a political trauma in the support supporters. They don't understand what befell us. We haven't had time to explain to them. Uh, there, there are so many things being said back and forth. And so we feel a responsibility uh, to, to do our patriotic duty, to explain to the people that trusted and believed us uh, about what went wrong. Because something is abundantly wrong and we owe it to them. We also are answering to ourselves, what next? And uh, we want to take that decision collectively, what next? So what you've been telling the public, uh, because also you, it was here, say we just had a meeting which you could have walked in and seen yourself. But uh, for me as a, as a convener, I want to tell you that we presented a political menu to the National Council and ask them that uh, where we are and how we are, uh, this is the balance sheet. What are our options? What can we pick from the menu? And there were many things. The first thing was seek a reconciliation, if it's tenable, okay? And if it is, it is something that I, I have, we have been told to, to pursue. Uh, find a new, if, if this political vehicle has crashed, it has been hijacked, it has been taken over uh, by a section of people, borrow a, new, uh, borrow a new vehicle to pursue the mission or buy a new one. All these options say, listen, we can't take a decision here. We need to go around because when we were looking for votes, we went around. And talk to the stakeholders. And talk to the stakeholders and explain to them what has happened. Because you, Kamara, as a, as a very senior political uh, analyst and as a, as a journalist, you, you also haven't paid attention to what the issues are. You don't really understand them uh, as well as I do. But that's not your, uh, that's not your fault. But for anybody who cares about democracy, it is to understand why would people invest 20 years into building a tamper-proof, bulletproof organization and it gets stolen? It gets, it gets broken. What happened? And so we owe it to ourselves also for purposes of closure because we are not going to, to die the way the other parties have. We will need a post-mortem report <laughs> to give to ourselves and also to give to the country that this has happened to us. I remember 20 years ago sitting in, uh, in, this, in, the, in, in exactly this spot and, and assuring Ugandans that, listen, we are going to build a rubber, uh, 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 a robber proof, robber proof. And now that this has happened, we have been robbed. We, we have been robbed of 20 years. Eh? No, and <laughs> I need to explain. I need to hope uh, that, that the people who will be involved, because I don't have the time or the years uh, on, on my side to, to, to bequeath a different entity to them. And so I will leave a will and say, guys, watch out for this. Don't ever appoint leaders without a background check. Never do that. Not on face value, not on talk value. Do thorough background checks. Two, never allow to concentrate, to believe people. Get reports. Analyze, be analytical. Don't, don't take anything for granted. Because we believed our colleagues until, unfortunately, it was all written on the wall that something was badly wrong inside us. Something was badly wrong inside them. Honorable yeah. Fungaro, when mm. you hear, you are a deputy president yeah. of FDC. Mm. That's your title. Senior leaders, and he's a founder member. Yeah, and senior leaders, like Honorable Salah Musumbra, mm. yeah. and others have actually questioned the integrity of the party president and the secretary general. That is quite telling. You see, my brother that is quite and uh, my sister here, those top-ranking people, 
are quite often the ones who fall into this trap of internal contradictions. Anywhere you may find such a problem, in Uganda, in South Sudan, in South Africa, it is the top leaders who disagree. And uh, you cannot just say uh, you, you, you peg it on this individual. It could have been different people. But as long as they are the ones holding you know, those but, offices. But you know, this is not like you have offices. disagreed on policy or strategy or tactic. This is that you have, you you are morally bankrupt. I uh, know. Uh, this is like you have, you, you have integrity deficiency. I uh, know. Uh, this is different. No. Now, if there is a problem, somebody complains, and there's another person defending the other side, if you fail to resolve the issue between you, the two, you need an adjudicator in the middle. We went through all this. The adjudication was done internally by the elders committee and it was done externally by other bodies of the state. You know these things. <laughs> People went to court. My sister, you were the ones who went to the court. When you went to the court, did you say the court was bad? Why did you go there? Listen. And the court made this ruling. For us, for me, I'm interpreting things the way they are. But my message is to Ugandans. As you said, I'm a founder member. I entered politics when I was quite young. I grew up in it. There are many who are growing up together with me. Others are younger, others are slightly older than me. We are here. We have lost some painfully senior members like the late Sam Njuba, a person who held my hand like this, Dr. Suleiman Kigundu. They were the ones who founded, who led us. Some people are still alive but they are not in the same track with some of us but we still remain there with all this pain we have seen these things it is sad that we have not been able to achieve the cardinal goal of the fdc in the time of our leaders let me, let me ask you a very short question let me make this before so let me make this response. please what do you see as, as a problem a point what do you see as a problem to divert today? me away from it what do you see as a problem today in fdc let me f make this point and i come to you the goal was not achieved in the time of the leaders before us. It may not be achieved in the time of leaders in my time. But as long as our eyes are on the target, the leaders coming after us, maybe they want to accomplish it. So we should not leave di lose direction. We should not lose focus. We should focus on the, and the objective. On the objective. And we are moving forward. We are moving there. So young people of the FDC get focused. Mandela, who became the most popular person in South Africa and concluded the struggle of the African people under the NC, was not the founder member of the NC. He was not the leader who was the first. There were people like Walter Sisulu, Oliver Tango. But Oliver Tango. Mm -hmm. They fought and they made great contributions along from the beginning. But the climax was concluded by a young man. He was a youth, an activist. But at the end of the day, he became the president. So the president of the FDC, who may take us to power, may not be among the people you are calling bad people. It may not be Fungaro. You're waiting for the Joshua. It can be I someone can. young. So don't lose the focus. We should do focus there. FDC is still stable. The address <laughs> is not an uncle. Yes, you can Sebo, laugh. This sarcastic Sebo. laughter. No, I have to laugh at you because no, you know Fungaro. Fungaro. Uh, no, you don't know. describe me no. No. about oh, the matter. One at a time. That, that, that's the thing. Yes, okay. that's the best on, thing. On, 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 but this <laughs> argument of saying this is not the matter, no. <laughs> Talk about the issue. So what, Where do you agree what, and what, disagree? What, what, how do you diagnose the problem? What's the issue? So the problem is still is this. Reorganization after the fall out. This is where we are now. The problem is, how do we reorganize? Where do we go? We are talking to each other. Now, the problem of the politics of Uganda is, after I'm seven, what is happening? Are we going as a coalition, as a opposition? There's a talk. My sister and people from the side of Katonga Road are in the talk of the opposition coalition. We are also in the talk because we are in the opposition. That's why from Entebbe there, we had members of the opposition working together in this meeting where I came from. Now, we are also concerned about this thing coming from MK, and it, it has, we, we, what kind of change is coming? We are focusing on, on the greater good, the common good. Are we working for a fake change or a genuine change? So, we as FDC, 
we are focused and we are organized. Okay. The systems are working. The systems of the FDC <laughs> are working. Even if there are disagreements, the systems are working. No yes, working, working systems. Uh, uh, the systems imagine. were broken. The party was hijacked. That I can tell you without any hesitation. The party was hijacked. And gleefully, knowingly, for a long time, you cannot imagine that party leaders can stalk their party and stalk their colleagues. This is what happened. That you stalked colleagues. You stalked the party. You abused office. And you abused the constitution. You just said that yesterday one of the issues you discussed, number one, was reconciliation also. So Listen, how do you, you see, you, 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 that when, whenever you go, let me tell you, about, you that the, the, the most important thing, the most important right. thing so is, is to come clean. Is to come clean. To look at the issues and sort them out. You, if you make a wrong diagnosis, so what you make you a, a wrong... You really need to reconcile because it was part of the issues you discussed. And that's what he's also saying. That yes, the, 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 is only. the only thing that is required is for reconstituting the party structures. Because you see, they destroyed the party from the party structures. They went into a selection, selecting by computer, selecting leaders, working behind colleagues. I can give myself as a test. They took three years undermining me. Three. They went around the country three times post-elections, undermining everybody else until people said, this is enough. Enough is enough. By the time Semuju called a meeting in Zambia, we had been grappling with these issues. The party had become to belong to a clique in which he was. They would it. all go out. When, when and, and let me tell you, you don't even have to believe me. You go and do an audit and go and look at the expenditure pattern of who was going where and for how long. The party became the property of the president. He moved with it in his hands. Person, and he know, said, listen, this is wrong. This is the man you presented to Ugandans, asking Ugandans to give him a mandate to lead Uganda. Your party president? Okay, Listen, some we lost control of the man. And the reason f why we lost control of the man, I will tell you next time I come. Okay, let me tell you this. My sister said we went around the country. Three times. And there was a moment we were with you. No. We were with you <laughs> no. in Mbale. Mbale. You pleaded we were with, with me. You. So why, why, why do you say you know, were I went for, uh, let I me went, give you, let no, me no, give no. you No, no, no. The party president you called me away. because they had been you abusing away. Dr. Besige. No. They had been abusing Dr. Besige uh, uh, systematically. Uh, no, and he was so worried. Uh, uh, no, no, he no, said no, this is not no, happening. No, well, no, I'm telling you the truth. I was with you. And the good thing is, if we go to the argument in the perspective of really a case, in front of judges and he be the judge we give evidence we were in soroti we were in mbale we were in tororo we were in those places then again you may not be inside but at least somebody who was with you the honorable birigua ambassador we were in luero we were in Western Uganda, in, in Buganda, uh, Southern Buganda. So, okay. your, fix your like the, the, the thing is, that program was an evaluation, performance evaluation of the elections. We worked together. You were there. You talked Let to me people. tell you, you what happened. People. So don't just argue Let to me give explain. things. Are you done? Mm -mm. Let me finish mine because okay. I gave you the time. So the reality is disagreements came. But this thing I was speaking now about somebody, the president, badly, engineer Muriat, badly all the times, when you were in the leadership. I'm talking about an office you called see? the president. So for me, those things have happened. Leave them apart. Let me Let's explain to you. Things. Because uh, I, have to, I, want, I, have to, I want to, I have to clarify. For us, we have gone past the area of confrontation. My sister and the group, whatever they are doing, we don't attack them. We don't abuse them. We greet them, even when they are going for a meeting, like the one they have just come from. We greet each other. You go do what you want to do. We cannot quarrel on that. 
If you organize a meeting, you call it national council, like the one you have just come out of, organize. There is no problem. For us, we say, let's focus on the goal. Let us focus on reconciliation. We will know the essence of the thing called a party, an institution, a corporate body, and a corporate governance, which rules, which systems do you use. So there's no need to fight. If the way you are going can be useful and helpful, go. Maybe Ugandans will go with you. I see Honorable Salam Musum, but the Honorable Fungaro is speaking with a lot of confidence because all the instruments He's of power, a all, the, all the instruments of power have been of the party successfully are with, grabbed. Are with them. No, they have never success, left, they the have grab, never left the grab. Let me tell you, hmm. the, the party grab is complete. He's confirming to you, and he's so comfortable with the party grab. Let me tell you, the three times, the three rounds they went around the country. I lost a guy I used to work with as the chief administrative officer, Mr. Felix Esoko, okay. rest in eternal peace. And he was being buried at the time when they were going round. At the time when they were going round. So they asked me, on your way back from uh, burying, can you pass here? I said, why? They said, no pass here, there are issues we want to, to discuss. And I did. They said, come with us, because it was getting hot uh, in, in where the people they were meeting. Mm -hmm. So they needed a cooler, and they saw me as that person who would bring about uh, a cooling effect. So they were looking for accountability centers, mm -hmm. accountability centers. And that's when we started noticing that something was badly wrong. That put it in the past. There are more many things that I can discuss and tell you about. But I, uh, my, my plotting the dots, I have, I have concluded that it was deliberate, it was calculated, you know, if, if, if effectively to undercut leaders in the party and the leadership. By the time we left, we had not met many, many times. They overran the party. They put hooligans in the, in the, in the party. You know, we That's complained about the security of members. I even wrote a letter. One day I will be forced to, to, to publish that letter. A letter I wrote under confidential cover to the party president to advise him. I said, things are going wrong, can't you see? We asked for a meeting. The guy just jammed and broke the party into pieces. And I wonder where he gets the comfort to look straight in the eyes of Ugandans and tell another fake lie. That is the leader. He is not. That He's not. That is like what they call He's the Italian not. job. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Let, let me tell you the things that they have done to this party, the damage they have done to colleagues. It's really treasonable. So, Honorable Fungaro, it appears I, I don't some know people are using you of mortgaging your own party. Mm -mm. No, they have. This they have. Agreement. They have. Uh, they for have. those who know me, he knows. Sometimes people say, you are a hardliner, you are what? And usually, when they go now to that kind of uh, talk. talk, it means they have failed to fool you. If someone tells you, you are hard to work with, you are hardliner, it means you have your principles. People who are in Najana Kumbi know me, People who are in Katonga know me, people are in Ubongi know me. I have an issue of consistency. There is no accusation that I can, I can lay on him. I have none. So you can what that. I have is the guys he follows. No. And the guys he defends, <laughs> and the fraud he, he defends, the fraud you defend no. is what is killing me. Um, my brother, let me tell you this. No. If it was like, when no, you no, opened no. up, no, no, no. there were moments, there were people in the middle who tried to make things better. Let me say this. Yes. I had engagements with Dr. Besiji yeah. on one to one. Friend. My friend, Correct. my mentor. Your mentor. During the time when these things were going bad, I was one of the few people who you could imagine talk. what kind of friends Listen to we this. have. I was one of the few who could talk to both sides of the camps which had problems. I would talk to Dr. Besiji. I would talk to Amuria, engineer. I would talk to Honor Nandala Mafabi. I would make a proposal. Why don't you handle this this way? Let's handle it this way. I made my proposals. I can say uh, we lost an opportunity to solve the problem. Maybe what you are complaining about will have been solved in another way. Now, the way we have reached where we are now, 
Let's take things the way they are. You see, when you are driving a vehicle and the vehicle has gone off road and the vehicle has not overturned, you need to remain stable. Keep the direction. Sometimes you may kill yourself in trying like to forcefully turn something and then you overturn and then you kill yourself. The vehicle, if you say it is hijacked, but the vehicle is still working. You work for a way of going to pick it from the hands of the hijacker. And then you... you when you, they've removed the engine. Uh, uh, the vehicle is working. It is not working. Hey. No. FDC is mm -hmm. reporting to the Electoral Can Commission. You imagine? But that I mean, is that is that working. That is measure. We, you what know how mean? we set up that party. We didn't set it up by... What is the uh, correct for your argument shame. case? All right. Is this okay. one of hijacking? Mm -mm. Because okay. the leaders whom you say are hijackers are not the ones you would like to see okay. leading. Okay. We are going, Those, they are, are the to, ones. We are going to take now, a break. For now, now they are the ones in charge. Oh, no, Wait no, for no, the delegates no, conference. No, 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 no. You go and break the steering wheel from the leaders. That's how it is. We shall give you an opportunity to have your say. We'll be right back. No. Come on. Welcome back. You're watching on the spot. My name is Patrick Kamara. My guests tonight are Honorable Hassan Fungaro Caps, Deputy President of FDC Northern Uganda, and the Vice Chair of FDC, the Honorable Salam Musumba. This is the moment when you, the viewer, can also have your say. You could be a party member or a Ugandan concerned. And we have listened to all these arguments uh, against and for. This is the moment you can pick your phone and call us and tell us your name and where you are. And in case you disagree with my guests here tonight, that's OK. But remember to disagree with civility. So I'm waiting for your calls. So now, um, moving forward, what do you see that's going to happen? Because you talked an element of reconciliation, but also you're going to meet the people so eventually what happens? We are already in a roadmap where of the elec electoral for the election of 2026, and people are talking about the forces of change coming together. What is going, how will it crystallize, Honorable Salam I don't know. I don't know. But the, 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 the destiny of Uganda is not pegged on elections the fraudulent ones that I know of, that have participated in, uh, the ones that offer no, in which there's very little faith, uh, unless we can use uh, them for other purposes. But to bring about the change that we know, uh, I see very, very little hope if nothing gives way because we have the same electoral commission. Unfortunately, we have the same attitude uh, of the electoral commission, the same character, uh, the same actors. Uh, until something gives, gives way, uh, I don't see, but, but we have also alternative plans uh, that we have set ourselves for, and uh, we will be refining them and uh, the beauty of it is that Ugandans have come okay, let's, to let's, understand. Let's talk about well, Ugandans. We have, a, we have a Ugandan reader online. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. Thank you. Let me ask my producer to turn down the volume. It's so high inside here. But go right ahead, sir. Hello. How are you? Good evening to good, all of you. Good evening, sir. It's so unfortunate uh, that uh, we have reached, we have reached uh, such a point because with all the issues Ugandans are facing, the bad roads, the bad economy, how foreigners are dominating our economy, yet Ugandans are poor, all the issues that we are facing, we keep on seeing these trivial things being brought onto, into this space. So now, if you're bickering like this here to the opposition, what will you do when you get into government? What's your name, sir? I mean, the opposition seems to me like they are very comfortable being in opposition. I think it brings very well to actually be in opposition. So it looks like they are professional opposition, but just stay there. Because they're bitter. There's nothing they are talking about that helps Ugandans. I only see it helping them. It's like they want their personal matters to become national matters. I don't, I, I, I don't understand it. I mean, how FDC 
you need to sit down with all the other opposition people, including even NRM, because I even see with NRM people, they talk about issues that don't help Ugandans. We need to go back and stick. Please let's talk about issues that help Ugandans and Uganda. Okay, this is bitter, it doesn't help us. You have made, you have made your point. Tell, tell us your name, sir. Okay. He, he, he made his point. Nameless. Uh, <laughs> made his point. Yes. Nameless made his point. Yeah, yeah I, I, I know you are at pains to be able to be this, having this kind of engagement because you'd rather not. But it has happened sure. anyway, so you can't just, uh, uh, you know, hide your, your face in the sand. It has, the, the, the split is there. You have disagreed. But uh, you can you uh, it's important, it's you know important for that the Ugandan viewer, better, yes. Mr. Nameless, to know the kind of leaders that he wants to entrust his problems to. It is so important. It's the crux of the matter. The leader is not the table. The leader is the software in me. You need to look me in the eye and believe me and trust me. Otherwise, we will go back into the same cycles. The same cycles. Actually, the biggest problem for Uganda is leadership. It's leadership, credible leadership. People who will be honest with themselves and honest with the country. That's the biggest problem. Honorable Hassan, has F FDC been devoured by the NRM juggernaut? There is still <laughs> hope. I want to give you, my brothers and sisters, there is still hope. Learn from South Sudan. There's hope to do what? Please, I give you time. To I'm speak. asking, what, yes. What do we learn I'm from South Sudan? I'm still speaking. Give yourselves the direction of having hope. We had a great organization called SPL SPLM, led by a revolutionary, highly educated person called Dr. John Garang. People believed in him. Unfortunately, he died <laughs> before the mission was finished. When the struggle was going on, there was a bickering in the opposition. There were an opposition group, only that they were armed. Some of them joined the enemy. Some of them got divided but remained in the opposition. They kept on fighting. They did not lose direction. Those who joined the government, they were fighting against, came back and joined those who were in the opposition. The example is Dr. Riyak Machar. He came back and joined Dr. John Garan. I'm afraid the examples no. you are giving. No, but this is your position. They are going to give no. an appetite. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, this failed, is, failed, he, failed. Uh, South Sudan. People, the black people of South Sudan today are better off when they were still under Khartoum. And this place has become the center of and stability. Khartoum there. is better than it was under uh, Bashir. Uh, listen to me. both no, failures. But uh, you, you were given respect when you were speaking. Why don't you be a good listener? It's one of the good qualities to, of good leaders. I don't want to listen to So, bullshit. have hope. The person called General Salfakir has money to steer the country. Okay, you're giving us the, the South Sudanese example. But so ours is your here. Let, let me get there this other you got on, on who are in charge. If this have, is still alive, I have a caller. Uh, have, have a stable. I have a caller now. Hello. Come and join us. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. What's your name? This is Fred from West Nile. Fred from West Nile. Go right ahead, sir. Fred. Hello, Kamala. Yes, go right ahead, Fred. Hello. Fred, we are hearing you go right ahead with your question or your comment. Just go on and talk, Fred. Hello, Kamala. I'm hearing. Go on. Talk. Hello. Oh, good. Okay. No, or unfortunately, you can't hear us. Um, so, there's hope. Let us uh, focus, uh, reunite. Let, the, let us look at the issue of reconciliation. Um, if there is something good which can come from my brothers, my sisters, from the side of Katonga Road, let it come good. We allow them to do it. And uh, the good thing is the words, which are the same, reconciliation, historicals, respect. And, so there is something. Fred is calling again. Not always the loss. Hello. Yes, hello. Good evening. What's your name and who are you calling from? Uh, yes, good evening. I want to get to the studio. Yes, please. Yes, you're on air. Go right ahead. Argument is to contradict 
is now saying, you see, we met in a studio, we met in a workshop, we met with a Sarawaki, and for him now he thinks everything is okay. Now, imagine a country where now you are going to think when you meet in a barrier, there's no any other issue. I think when you just see from how he's presenting, you can read from his face that something is easy because I'm trying to get from what my sister Salam is trying to say. I think FDC structure has been done like the way we saw it happen in South Africa, where the chairman with the top organ of the party had the power to recall the president. And it happened. When it happened, the likes of Fungaro appreciated all and said, wow, that is a model we should follow. But now it is coming to their party, and they can't implement the same. I think as the people of Uganda, People are getting betrayed, and things must be worked differently. I wish them the best. Thank you very much for your submission. And, uh, yeah, you're still making a point yeah. before. So the point here is, the happenings which have happened have happened. We are not looking backwards. We are not solving problems of the past. We are solving problems of today and the future, tomorrow. Let's look forward. How best... Can we reorganize ourselves? There is no problem in falling down, but there is a problem in getting up once you fall down. So as FDC, we should learn from other struggles fighting against a dictatorial system, regardless of the differences, whether democratically or militarily, opposition is opposition, dissent is dissent. We learn from each other. So we should do focus ahead we do hope that FDC is still strong, is still there, weaknesses are there, yes. Definitely we are not as strong as we used to be because my numbers have been reduced. Some people are out. We, we recognize these facts. But the party, in terms of uh, systems of management, administration, office, well, they are there. Okay. Disagreements are there. So I would like to call upon my brothers and sisters on both sides of the divide that do what you can do where you are okay hold on let me just get but this, also this give one. room let's call online for hello 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 i have a call yes what's your name and where are you calling from what's your name and where are you calling from okay i'm i'm cutting that line hello? yes tell us your name and where you're calling from if you can hear me All right, we have an issue with the with the, with the, the line, phone. I think, yeah. So, okay, um, our time is also uh, almost coming to an end. And uh, for this discussion, I'm going to give each one of you uh, to give us your concluding uh, remarks, your concluding argument on this. Let me begin with you, Honorable Fungaro. Yeah. So I still say our problem has originated from internal contradictions, <coughs> and it's not peculiar to us. There are issues of power struggle among us leaders. We have reached this point, but not all is lost. There is still hope for something good. Let us work for the common good of Uganda. Let us work for the common good of the opposition. And we are talking to each other. It is also good for the enemy to believe that we are weakened so that they can undermine us. But down there, we organize ourselves and so surprise this, them. So this is a tactic, eh? Yes. They can say, yeah, but this is a, we have to improve and improve ourselves. They can say, ah, it's a decoy. Yeah. <laughs> so have hope. We are growing up. We have learned from this. I'm a founder member of the FTC. I entered when I was a small boy, quite insignificant. People looked at me, but I grew up. I have served people. My record is clear. And my issue is consistency. Okay. Thank you very much. FDC is still there. We are going forward. The struggle on, on continues. On one Uganda, one people. Honorable Salam Musumba, we are parting shots. Well, I want to thank all of you that have taken interest in the health of multi party politics in this country. The pitfalls are very clear to us all. The damage and uh, the, the oppressor. Uh, is successfully working at us. Uh, the biggest problem and the biggest immunity that we should give to this country is to avoid the agents of oppression within the different parties 
and within the different uh, party organizations that we have formed. Be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. Don't blink. Uh, this is a duel. I want to tell you that for as long as I have breath in me, I will continue on the mission for which we have over the 20 years uh, put our energy, put our lives, uh, put our brains to build. And that is a robust world-class party, a, a, a political platform on which we can then uh, be able to, to talk about those issues that are so critical. But if you were to, to go with, with, with a, a platform that is questionable, uh, whose leadership is questionable, you will go nowhere. I want to thank you so much, Honorable Salam Musumba. I wish you what I wish myself. God I want bless. to thank you so much, and I want to thank you, Honorable Fungaro. Thank from you. the two individuals I've learned from today, is that uh, even, yeah, though, I, even <laughs> though they seem to disagree, mm. but uh, I think you are still hopeful that you can still make it. Yes. When you look at the dashboard of FDC, mm. all the buttons could be blinkling red. Yeah. But, but, the, the, <laughs> but the issue is uh, the glory of living is not in never falling, yeah. but raising up every time yes, you fall. And I point. believe FDC is a giant. Like the phoenix, they rise from the ashes. Yes, yes. Good night and God bless you, Gandhi. Salam alaikum. <laughs>